Hello and welcome back to the NK Zargo save. We're playing the old lady. Not my mum or your mum. We're playing Juventus. Um, from one Serie A team to another. We knocked out Milan. We get drawn against Juventus. We're going to have both games in today's episode. And we're not going to get the unbeaten league season because Hey Duke beat us 2-1. They've somewhere, somehow, picked up Milton Manzano really under the radar. 21 years old from Colombia. 550k for Millionaires. Um, he's not having a brilliant season. He's only scored 8 in 28, but he looks really, really good. Um, he looks like he's got some useful stats. Yeah, he got a brace against us. He scored both goals. We got one back with Vlatkovic. We were very slow starting. Odell was at fault for both goals. Uh, Marin didn't play very well. Gigliotti had a poor game. So, so a bit disappointing we lose, but I'm not that fast. We've already won the league as well. That's already wrapped up. We're into the Champions League. We've got our budgets for next year already been announced. We have 51 million in our transfer budget, which is by far our largest transfer budget before even selling anyone. Normally we get up to around about 60, 70 million after we sell someone, but this time we haven't even had to worry about that, which is um, good, really good. I mean, we've only got 14 million in the bank, so I don't quite know how they figured out that we get 51 million uh, in transfer fees, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I still haven't made the decision. I'm still waiting on a few more comments to see about that guy if we spend all the money on Tello. Um, you know, we cracked. We did agree a deal with Bayern Munich that they would accept. It was, I think, it was around about 80 million, but we'll have to wait and see. But let's go into the game against Juventus. Dynamo lost to Chelsea, so they didn't get through, which is very annoying. But they have done quite a lot for their coefficient and the coefficient of Croatia as well. So let's get into this one against Juventus. We're missing a few big names. So Gulian's out. Alexander, who's normally on the bench, is out. Um, Medina's just coming back to fitness. He's going to start, but he's probably going to struggle. So, yeah, it's not the perfect 11 I'd want. But we've got Tello, we've got Garcia, so we've got our big guns up there. We need Gigliotti to have a, big, a good game. We have got Vlakovic on the bench. Ferozovic, Leonardo, Uder and Tosic. It's the usual back four. Could argue Lech Jats is a bit unlucky to miss out. He's been playing very, very well in the league. But this is what we're going to go with. And I'm... <laughs> I'm not that confident. I was very confident when we played Milan, and I'm not that confident playing against Juventus. They are playing a 4-4-2, which sort of does play into our hands. We have been good against the 4-4-2. But Robinson Luiz is very, very good. He's 31. He's a Brazilian international. He's very, very good. Spinelli up front, very, very good. Italian, 25-year-old. So we'll have to see how it goes. Into the dressing room then. Let's just check we've got all this on because, again, I turn all the... When we're playing league games, we're dominating the league. So I very, very rarely watch uh, replays and stuff. Um, Ross thinks we should go out and tell, go and prove a point. I'm not going to agree with you. I'm going to go and say uh, give the fans a performance because it's a huge game at the CLF Zagreb Arena. It's a massive game. So let's get out there. And do it for the fans. Let's get into the semi-finals of the Champions League for the fans. That is, That would be absolutely incredible. As Garcia into Tello, straight from the kickoff. this. Yelena just holds on to the ball. Looking for Fedezovic on the right. And uh, this summer could be a very busy one again for the club. Loads of interest in our players as Garcia puts that wide. Um, yeah, could be very busy. Even our backup players have now got clubs like Chelsea, Monaco... Um, Newcastle, Arsenal after them. So it could be very, very interesting. Let's just uh, demand a bit more. We're going to go drop, drop down to positive. Seems to work against Milan when we went to a positive outlook on the game rather than full-on attacking. We'll see how it goes, though. We are dominating, sort of. 13 minutes in, two shots, one on target, 52% possession. We're keeping Juventus sort of quiet as well, which is good. But, you know, once you get to this stage of the competition, it literally is anybody's game. Anybody could win it. Anybody could come out on top as Leonardo picks up a relatively early book. And inside 25 minutes, we just need to make sure that we capitalise at this pressure. Tello with the ball in. Ratinho with the header just goes past the post. Oh, man. I'm, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it at the moment. Um, it's one of those things where it's got to the point that if... We could, oh, Odair's going to pick this up, and then he's got a ball out onto the right. He goes back to Garcia, into Ratinho, Tosic. Tosic comes forward with it, goes long, looking for Gigliotti. What a ball that is from the left back. Gigliotti should score, and De Sico gets it away. But, yeah, it's, it's a, it, I've got to slow myself down from playing it so that I'm not creating too many videos so that I miss your comments. 
Um, and that's one of the annoying things. So I want to react to things as you... So, like the Tello transfer fee, I want to react to that while I've still got time. I don't want to get into the summer transfer window by the time you're just answering a question um, about Tello, which is also why it's quite... I, I do find it important that you guys give me answers and stuff, because I am pacing myself with how much I play. As Santarelli hits a free kick straight into the wall, Robinson Louise picks it up, and that's blocked. So, that was simple. Garcia's picked up a knee injury, which is a bit of a concern. Uh, we do have Vicario on the bench. Yeah, there he is. So, Vicario will probably come on for Garcia at half-time, unless he can improve his... Well, to be honest, he's not playing very well. He's... He Ever since he signed the new contract, and then I turned down a bid from Arsenal, he hasn't played very well. He has just put a free kick on target, but he... Ever since I rejected that bid from Arsenal of like 80 million, he really hasn't been playing very well. Maybe he just needs some time away from the first 11 and we'll give it to Vicario. But but then on the flip side, yeah, even Vicario, that's been mentioned in the comments that Vicario's not really stepping up. Um, let's just go passionately again. We'll do it for the fans. We'll keep that, keep it all very passionate because we're at home. Um, we'll keep it, yeah, upbeat, passionate. We don't have to, um, don't have to be harsh on them or anything like that. We will do... Garcia for Vicario. Vicario does appear to like the big games a little bit better than when he plays in the league, but he's not... Like, so I tried to sign him on a permanent deal at the end of his last loan, and I'm not too... I mean, don't get me wrong, if he's available, I'll put a bid in. If he's on the transfer list, I'll put a bid in. But, yeah, I'm not now going to try and break the bank to sign him. I'd rather get Tello, who has been extortionately good. I mean, that's not a right phrase. Ratinho fires it in. You should never... Like used the adjective extortionately to describe someone playing well. Extortionately well? That's not very good. Um, extraordinarily well would be a better word to use. Gigliotti with a lovely ball through. Ratinho first time left footed. Again, we're going to struggle to keep hold of Ratinho in the summer. If we get huge money bids for him, I'll, I'll take it. We're going to give him a bit of praise. I don't normally do it when we're 1-0 up. I normally wait for two. But now, if you've entered a score now, it's all going to go horribly wrong because I'll be praising them and you can't cancel a shout after something's happened. Although that should be quite easy, yeah. Oyozin makes a simple catch for that. But obviously that isn't going to be the whole highlight. Oyozin does it short to Yurina. Back to Oyozin. Goes long looking for Medina. who flicks it on. Looking for himself. Decisio covers. Number nine at centre-back. You're having a bloody laugh. What's that about? Leonardo wins the header. Vicario can't get there. Up to robinson Louise. Ball out to the right. Santarelli. Leonardo's lost his man in the middle. And there he is. And Oyozin makes a great save to tip it round the post. And it will be a corner for Juventus. They've only had two shots on target. We've had four... Um, so we have been the better team. Gigliotti comes forward. He's got a man down the wing. He's going on his own, Gigliotti, here. And he's fouled. He's drawn a great foul there from Souza. Our ex-player, Franco Souza, on the right wing. Um, yeah, this has been a good little performance so far. Tosic does well to intercept that up to Gigliotti, who's been working hard in this second half after having a poor first half. Puts a ball in. No one's there. And the number nine centre-back gets it away. That is on Khalid Bularu's level of incompetence, being number nine at centre-back. Fedezovic, Tello, Gigliotti, Vicario, Ratinho. We're passing it around and no one gets a shot off. We just can't get that final effort. Medina isn't looking the best. We might have to bring on... Uh, Munoz on that side although he's not used to it doesn't really like to play out there he is left footed so an inside forward with a left foot over there I'll have to see how it goes but yeah Medina not having the best of games Tello picks the ball up into Fedezovic up to Medina can he do something useful here I mean, he's put a wonderful ball through to Gigliotti Gigliotti's in oh he sends the keeper the wrong way and makes it 2-0 just as I say Medina hasn't done very much he pops up with a wonderful assist and Sebastian Gigliotti I'm pretty sure he's playing this well to try and impress the scouts that are watching but that is a truly wonderful pass into Gigliotti left footed finish goalkeeper's not going to have much chance there when he has to change all his weight and put it onto the other foot but just as I say, he's not playing well. He comes up with an assist, and that is what you like to see. And Gigliotti's got injured. Oh, that is killer. Hopefully, it's not too bad. What is it? Thigh injury. Oh, no, that is not good. We have got Vlatkovic, who is good. He's wanted by some big clubs, Vlatkovic. But that is really not good news for us using Gigliotti. 21 goals this season from Gigliotti. Yeah, that is not good news for the strike force of NK Zagreb. But the good news is we're 2-0 up against Juventus with 10 minutes to go. So, you know, we've, we've got the silver linings of the, of the injury. We are playing well, I think, just for the last 
few minutes. We're going to do Lech Jacks for Ferozovic just on that right back spot. He's he's good game. He's got a seven. He's got a solid game, a solid seven. Uh, but he was just getting a bit tired at 72%. And Tosic, I don't want to take Tosic off when he's on an 8.1 because he's absolutely incredibly good, Dejan Tosic. Um, but again, we're, we're in that top 10 of reputable teams in Europe, which means we can hold on to our players and they don't get that pissed off when we reject bids. Look at this. Keeping Robertson Louise very quiet on a 5.9. Uh, Souza had a disappointing return to the CLF Zagreb Arena. But with three minutes or two minutes to go in injury time, it looks like we're going to be taking a first leg lead back to Italy as Tosic will keep this in play. Can he swing across in? He actually finds Medina. And Ratinho's there. Totally open. Should have done better. And that's probably going to be the last highlight of the game as uh, Arnese, or Anise goes long looking for Gobby. And uh, the referee blows the full-time whistle. We take a 2-0 lead with us to uh, the F is it the Allianz Juventus Arena I think that's what his full name is now but to Italy um, that was I'm very very pleased with that performance 2-0 we still show up in Europe we are on fire in Europe as Bayern take a 1-0 lead um, to the um, to Stamford Bridge and Giglio 2 to 3 months oh my word oh my word that is a killer Garcia 6 to 7 days that's going to hurt as well because he's going to miss the next leg I think Oh man, that is not very nice at all. Damn. Um, so we know that Vlatkovic is going to come in for Gigliotti. That is an absolute killer. That is horrible, horrible news. Um, that's put a big down. I didn't think it would be that long. I mean, that's that's the season, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's the season. So even if we get through, he's going to miss the semis. Oh, that's huge absolutely huge right we'll be back for the second leg against Juventus after we've played Rudez offline we'll see you then okay so we're back for the <clears throat> let's try that again okay we're back for the second leg against Juventus we've got a 2-0 lead they're lining up with pretty much the exactly the same team very interesting they've gone for that um, obviously we've got some injuries so we've gone with Ayerzen, Ferozovic, Leonardo, Odair and Tosic in goal in goal no, as the back five. Uh, Urena, Tello and Garcia in the middle. Medina, Ratinho and Vlakovic. So, um, yeah, big loss in Gigliotti up front. But Vlakovic comes in. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. We need to go out there and do the job um, assertively. First leg means nothing. Okay, that's given them some focus. But then we will go for the passionate... Uh, you know, there's a lot more to come from everybody because we need to put it in. Because we drew with 1-1 against um, Rudez in the game offline, which wasn't brilliant, to be honest. Um, pretty rubbish, actually. And we rotated the team a bit. And, yeah, you know, we rested Oyarz and we rested Ferozovic. We rested to both centre-backs and Tosic. So, yeah, it was a completely different lineup. But we do get the ball here. Tello on the edge. Shot is blocked. He gets it back, curls it. Can't get it on target. Um... So you've got last episode to comment on whether we sign Tello and this episode to comment whether we sign Tello and then I'll be making a decision based on that as uh, we get a free kick here. Tello is over it. We've got a man over at the back post. We've got an extra man in the box but he goes for goal. He could have just flicked it in to Vlatkovic for a little cheeky header but he went for goal. I mean I'm not going to be mad at him for going for goal. We're going to drop this to positive again because we've got a 2-0 lead. It's up to Juventus to come and have the impetus to come and attack so I'm, I think we're doing we're doing more than more than enough at the moment. 12 minutes gone and uh, Leonardo wins the header to Tello to Garcia. Garcia holds the ball back to Yerena. Yerena just takes his time. Ferris over. He's got a lot of space on the right hand side. Garcia goes left to Ratinho. Back to Yerena again. Just keeping the ball well. Garcia. Yerena is playing a bit of a playmaker role in front of the back four. Medina. Great ball out to Tosic on the left. He's got time and space. Waits across in. There's the header. He's hit the post. And Arnizi jumps on the rebound. And it's a very good first effort from Zagreb, 15 minutes in. Come in and we're taking the game to Juventus at the Allianz Arena in their own backyard. But hang on a minute, they've got a corner. It goes out to Souza on the edge, he shoots, Tosic gets his head to it. Back to Souza. he shoots and Tosic blocks it again. Aguirre with a ball in towards the back post, sees Alberto's force wide. Fedezovic is standing him up, it's laid back to Vucatero. We're pressuring him with a lot of men. De La Rosso is surrounded straight away up to Acosta and we handle the pressure really really well let's just demand a little bit more from them just to try and emphasize the fact that we don't want to give this up but the first half has gone pretty well 20 minutes gone 
And uh, we are controlling it, I would say. Robinson Louise, ball over the top. Cesar Alberto's in behind the defence. He tries to chip a Yerzen in off the underside of the bar. And just as I say, we're in control of it. It's 2-1. On aggregate, 1-0 for the home team, Juve on the day. Robinson Luis here, lovely ball over the top. Cesar Alberto is in. You don't see many lobs go in on FM, but that is a beauty. Off the underside of the bar, off the back of Ayerzin. And it's 1-0 to Juventus, and we need to get this going. Their first shot on target, bear in mind. So they haven't been too deadly up front, but now they have because it's 2. And it's 2-2 two, two on aggregate, just like that. It's turned around. And Juventus are massively back in the tie. Well, they're definitely back in the tie. And it's um, very, very annoying. Very annoying. Two shots on goal. Two shots on target. Uh, to be fair, they've had four shots on goal. Two on target. Two goals. And, uh, yeah, we haven't taken our chances. And we've injured Franco Souza, which is not too bad because he's our ex-player. And he's very, very good. Garcia's picked up another knock. He did make it back in time for this game. But it looks like he's going to... Juvent it looks like Juventus are targeting him. A bruised ankle. He should be able to play through it. He's a bit nervous. And he's actually not playing very well. But I think we're missing Gigliotti up front. And that is a killer as we tick down towards half time. Three minutes of added time. And is it going to just drift away to half time? It looks like it is. Ratinho not getting involved in the game. Vlakovic not doing a very good impression of Gigliotti. Yeah, it's tough. This is tough. Right, Rutinho is going to come off and he's going to be replaced by Minoz on that left-hand side. And we are going to let Ross Jacobs go full double barrel on them, Ross. You go for it. You really lay into them. We'll give Matias Garcia a little bit longer. We've gone up to attacking to try and get this away goal. Um, as Tello picks the ball up here, lays it into Vlakovic, but a poor first touch and Arnazi gets it away. Now, our only backup striker... Is uh, I didn't even put Simeonovic on the bench. So technically our backup striker is Vicario because I've taken Ratinho off. So the plan was going to be to put Ratinho up front if Vlatkovic was playing poorly. But Ratinho was playing so badly that now he's had to come off. So it does affect our our lineup ever so slightly. As I don't know, I don't think attacking's really made a difference. Aguirre over the ball, ball in, and it's a good good catch and well held by Arzin. Plays it out to Odair very rushed, which is. It's not, I don't tell them to play it quickly anymore, but it has worked. We've played it out well from the back. Great ball over to Manoz. Manoz, he's got a man in the middle. Medina, square it again, and we've got a goal. Surely Diallo hits Manoz, and Manoz can't put it in. Oh, we could have done so much better with that. We really could have done. Do I play Vlakovic up front? Do I keep him on up front, or do I play Vicario? Do I bring Vicario? I mean, Tello's having a poor game as well. Come on, lads, what is going on here? This is shocking. We're normally so much better than this. I think I do, you know. I think I'm going to bring on... Or do I do Vicario for Tello in the midfield? Munoz, back to Tosic, into Yelena. Yelena to Tello. Tello, onto his right foot. Curls, he's hit the post. Oh, man. It's just not going right for us today. It's not going right for us at all. We're going to make a sub. 20 minutes gone. Um... I'm going to take Garcia off because that Mazzala role is so crucial to how we play as Tello. who leaves it out. Fedezovic, who's had a like cataclysmic size uh, rise to this team. Fedezovic, Tello. Back to Yerena. Fedezovic is in space, but he goes out to Tosic. Into Manoz, who's made a bit of a difference since coming on. Tosic, Yerena. Keep working it right. That's it. Fedezovic. We're moving Juventus around. Ball in. Vlakovic with a header, but it's quite easy for Arnazi to make the save. And it remains 2-0 Juventus on the day. 2-2 two, two on aggregate. And look at this. 6.5, 6.5, 6.6. It's really not going very well. I might do leg jacks for Ferrozovic because the fullbacks play such an important role for us in this formation. I'm wondering if changing the fullback is the way to go. And we just let... See, Vlakovic is improving, which is good. Tello is class, so I'm happy to leave him on. I think we do. I think we make our third and final sub and we bring on leg jacks for Ferrozovic at right back. Try and get a bit more... Pace and crossing ability, bombing forward from the right back position. We're going to remain on attack until the rest of the game or until we score. And then we're going to drop back to positive. But disappointing to see Tello struggling in the game. And, you know, our big game players, Leonardo, Oder, Tello, all struggling. Diallo with a throw into De La Rosso. De La Rosso to Gobi. Gobi shoots, curls, yes, well, well wide. Not troubling Ayerzin. There's 50,000 people here in the Allianz Arena to watch this game. 
and it looks like uh, FC Bayern are going to go all through on away goals I think in that game via an own goal in the 97th minute we're going to be going to extra time unless something happens right now we're down to 10 men as Vicario is on the side of the pitch Vlakovic does win that ball Lekjax, oh can't get there Vicar Vlakovic has given that away and Odair's got that covered Back to Oyarzin, long ball forward. Medina takes a touch and brings it forward. He's got space to run into. Looks in, Vlakovic is in. Oh, it's a terrible finish. And Arnazi makes an easy save. And surely that's going to be extra time. But Lekjax has made a great interception. Can we get the winner? Vlakovic, Munoz. Munoz fires it in. Munoz fires it in. His fourth goal of the season. That's the away goal that surely wraps up the game. Apologies to headphone users. Oh my God. I think we're going through to the Champions League semi-finals. Lekjax here. Rifles it across. Munoz on the volley. What a finish, son. Get in there. Oh my word. I don't think I've ever been so loud as I have done just then in this apartment. Decisio number nine at the back. That's what you get for wearing number nine. But here's Robinson Louise. Odair makes a tackle. A great tackle it was. It goes in. Lech Jacks wins the header. Tello flicks it on. Santarelli is keeping it alive for Juventus. Vucatado goes out. He's overhit the pass. Oh my word. Right. Very defensive. Team instructions. Don't overlap. Don't play the ball out of defence. Keep it short. Much lower tempo. Waste time all the time. Don't do any of this stuff. Um, we'll stay very, very narrow. In tradition, we won't counter press. We'll hold our shape. We'll regroup. Uh, we won't do that. We're just going to go to the flanks. We're going to slow the pace down. We're going to kick it long when we have to. Out of possession, we're going to sit really deep. We're going to really congest it. We're not going to play the offside trap. We'll stay on our feet. We'll sit back really, really urgently. We won't press the goalkeeper, but we will mark them tightly. And that should see us through to the end of the game. They're probably the most unnecessary changes I've ever done in Football Manager. But here comes Diallo as he comes forward. It goes out to Del Rosso on the left-hand side. Lekjax gets there at first as well. Medina. Medina's in here. Medina comes forward up to Vicario. Picked up that knock back to Medina. Can we get another one? It goes in. Acosta headed it away. Here's Del Rosso. Referee, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, referee. Spinelli. Spinelli's there. He's got a man in the middle. Over hits the cross. Tossic should complete the clearance. And it's a good tackle, but it falls to Diallo. Vuctero into Del Rosso. Del Rosso shoots over the bar. And that should be the game. There's no rush to take this. Ayaz is just going. There it is! We're into the Champions League semi finals. I sincerely apologise to anybody who was wearing headphones and listening to that, or if you've got young kids or pets that are asleep. I apologise, but oh my word, we're into the Champions League semi finals along with Bayern Munich, Barcelona, and I think Man City. But. That was incredible. Garcia's out for another one to two days and Vicario one to two days. Oh my word. We get 9.4 million. We're into the semi-finals of the Champions League. Barcelona, Arsenal, us and FC Bayern. Give me Arsenal. For the love of God, give me Arsenal. I have no idea when the draw is. I assume it's the next day. I just don't know. I just don't know. Does it say it in here? I don't think it does. Um, let's go and have a look at the the competition. Oh my god, what a game! What a game! Um, let's go stages. Semi-final draw is the twentieth, so it's tomorrow. Okie dokie. Right. I also wanted to have a look at the under 19s Champions League. So we are in the semi finals of the under 19s Champions League as well, which is absolutely incredible for our under 19s. Oh man, oh man, that is Gabriel Munoz, the free transfer. Was he free? He might have been re really cheap, or was he a free? Um, who's Branko Tokic? Who are you? Yes, go on, off you go. Um, I mean, oh, Gabriel Munoz off the bench to replace Ratinho. A free transfer from Tottenham after they bought him for 28 and a half million. He's fired us, literally fired us into the Champions League semi-finals. And I am, I'm, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling to think, to get my breath. I think I've given myself a headache with shouting so loudly and celebrating that much. But, oh my word, that was just absolutely ridiculous. I forgot, completely forgot to rest everyone because we've got a game coming up pretty soon. Although the league's won, so I don't really care. It's all about the Champions League. Oh... Wow. Wow we what a performance. We're rejecting all these offers for our centre backs, obviously. But there is the semi final draw.
Give me Arsenal. Give me Arsenal. That's all I ask for you once, game. You listen to me when I chat about Barcelona. Just li li hear me. Hear me this once. Arsenal. That's all I want. Arsenal. With the first leg being away would be wonderful. Arsenal are first out. Barcelona, we've got Bayern Munich. Okay, we avoided Barca. That's all right. We've got Bayern Munich. We're at home for the first leg, and we've got Bayern Munich. Who we've got Tello. Oh, God, I bet. Can he play? Can he play? Can play against own team. Yes. Suck it, Bayern Munich. Suck it big time. Right, now let's actually go and have a look at their players again. So, leading the goal list, 22, 17, 17. Bloody hell. Jan Decker. Did they sign him from... Oh, no, so we've played Bayern Munich recently then, because I remember Jan Decker. Um, Kisail. Oh, my God, they're really good. Bocafoglia. Oh, man. When was the last time we played um, FC Bayern? Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, how, how can I look at? Okay, let's just go. Schedule last season. Did we play Bayern last season? No. Did we play Bayern the season before that? There's got to be an easier way for me to do this. Oh, that's why we won the Europa League, isn't it? I feel like we've played Bayern Munich because I remember Decker. Oh, there we go. FC Bayern. We beat them three-one. What am I worried about? What am I worried about? We beat them three-one at home. And we lost 3-1 away. Okay, so it was 4-4 on aggregate. So, okay, it could be mental. It could be absolutely mental, this game. But I'm going to go and have a lie down uh, and rest, I think. Where is the outro screen? There it is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Gabriel Munoz. What a legend. I'm out. Cheers.